Roz and I are both jewellers. We met in 2010 at Goldsmiths Fair, so we're both sort of practising makers, but um, we've done lots of shows together over the years. And then in 2018, Roz and her husband Kaz opened their first bricks and mortar location at London Bridge. And they had this wonderful space at the back of the store. And Roz and I talked about working together, so we thought we'd start some workshops and see how it went. And from there, it's kind of grown um, to become really popular. We get probably about sort of 300 people a month. In that time, we obviously show people what we as jewellers do on a daily basis alongside um, our own sort of private commissions and bespoke orders. I'm Alistair, the founder and design director of Wingback. We do everyday lifestyle accessories, uh, it's kind of making anything from small leather wallets to stationery. Uh, everything's made in the UK and kind of built to last. So becomes like a kind of treasured item over, over the course of your life. I really like getting stuck into actually making stuff, so uh, the, the sort of product development process from creating sketches to building a cardboard model to 3D printing it um, and then actually having sort of your products in people's pockets and hearing about sort of their use of them and how much they enjoy using them is, is, is really fulfilling. How did I get into leather work and metal work uh, for kind of producing these everyday items? I, Left university and started working for Dyson down in um, down in Malmesbury. Uh, it kind of gave me a real, real taste for the kind of cutting edge of, of design and, and technology, and uh, got to use some incredible tools down there. But it, it didn't quite fill my, my kind of passion for making sort of making products in the traditional side of, of making like woodwork and I kind of toyed with leather work as well. Uh, so the, the idea for the business came around from combining traditional manufacturing processes with the, like hand stitching and, and burnishing and things like that with the uh, sort of modern manufacturing techniques of, of laser engraving, laser etching, uh, CNC machining. My name's Grace and I am a designer and maker for bridal film and fashion. I always loved making things and I always loved um, working with my hands and pattern cutting and sewing and I really wanted to find a job that I could do that every day. I really wanted to like, handle fabrics and work with pins and scissors and I've always loved just creating something that's got a kind of a purpose and it's nice to kind of work with like a tangible product. So um, I work with a wide variety of clients um, from bridal and then also for TV and film. We're determined in finding the right unit for us. For us, yeah. We've only been in here a couple of weeks. Um, we've only run a couple of workshops in here, but we're absolutely loving the space. Um, it's just because it's got so much yeah. sunlight and space as well. Yeah. So when we invite, you know, our groups of eight or 12 to come and take a workshop, it just feels very sort of um, spacious and inviting. And there's lots of, as, as Ross said, natural light, which we absolutely love. And is almost like a necessity for a jeweler because you need to be able to see clearly what you're doing. Uh, we moved into the Octo Tower in October 2021. Um, we were, we were in a studio beforehand, it was like a shared workspace, and we just we kind of outgrew it. So I was looking around for some new spaces and luckily stumbled across the Oxo Tower and it, it absolutely sang out to me. It's been a, a kind of landmark in my life from, from growing up in London. I was always like enjoyed kind of skateboarding along South Bank or going for runs in later life, and it's, it's always kind of been that landmark. Uh, and then kind of going forward into, into sort of professional career, I've seen so many uh, design brands that I've followed that have kind of inspired me over the years go through the Oxo Tower and, and it, it kind of feels like a bit of a rite of passage coming through here as a, a design company. So it's, it's really cool to be able to kind of be here in this, this kind of iconic location and actually developing a brand here um, and, and kind of trying to get involved with the community and, and, and actually have people being able to walk in and see your products which we, we, we haven't had before and, and be able to chat to customers and, and uh, kind of interact with people just kind of physically rather than just online. Uh, it's, it's, it's a wicked place to be. <laughs> 
Our classes capture such a wide audience, so from sort of 18 up to 70. Um, we get, you know, partners, we get families, we get best friends, you know, for any occasion. We've had hen parties, birthdays, you know, proposals, proposals, breakups, first date, just one breakup, <laughs> your first date. So um, I think sorts. we love the fact that actually jewellery has so much sentimentality, you know, um, imbued around it. So that just means that um, people almost don't need an excuse to come and make a piece of jewellery because they'll find a meaning. I think one thing that we've mentioned or noticed compared to um, other workshops that we've been in um, kind of while we've been working on our own practices, the beautiful thing about Oxotar is the, the, the windows and you actually get to meet a lot of the community and the other makers just as they're walking past and kind of going into their studios. Um, and I think just in the couple of weeks that we've been here, we've managed to meet a lot of makers. Yeah. I moved in in January of this year and I had always dreamed of having a studio space here. I used to walk along this stretch of South Bank and look in all the designer and maker units and just imagine how amazing it would be to, to work there. Um, so when I started looking for a studio space this was just the first one and the dream come true so I feel very lucky to be here. And I also love the community aspect because they, with Coin Street, they um, have saved a lot of these buildings um, from falling into kind of very corporate hands um, and turning them into offices. Um, and they keep the rent affordable for creatives. And it means that people who maybe wouldn't have been able to afford such an amazing central London location can work here.